Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we will be in Proverbs chapter 28, but first let's get started with prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your word. We're thankful that you give us Proverbs and the rest of the Bible to help us grow and become more like you, Lord. I just pray that you'd help us to take it to heart and to use it in our everyday lives. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Okay. This is Proverbs chapter 28 and the message. Um, so we are almost done with Proverbs and then we will look at other books in the future. The first title is, If You Desert God's Law. If You Desert God's Law. The wicked are edgy with guilt ready to run off, even when no one is after them. Honest people are relaxed and confident, bold as lions. When the country is in chaos, everybody has a plan to fix it, but it takes a leader of real understanding to straighten things out. Hmm, kind of sounds familiar with what we're going through right now. The wicked who oppose the poor are like a hailstorm that beats down the harvest. If you desert God's law, you're free to embrace depravity. If you love God's law, you fight for it tooth and nail. You fight for what's right. Justice makes no sense to the evil-minded. Those who seek God know it, know it inside and out. I'll read that again. Justice makes no sense to the evil-minded. Those who seek God know it inside and out. It's better to, to be poor and direct than rich and crooked. Practice God's law. Get a reputation for wisdom. Hang out with a, with a loose crowd. Embarrass your family. So who you hang out with, who you spend time with like that, that not only affects you, but it affects those around you. Get as rich as you want. Throw through cheating and Ex, exor, exhortion, but eventually some friend of the poor is going to give it all back to them. We're called to give to the poor. We're not, we're not called to become rich and just hold it all for ourselves. God has no use for the prayers of the people who won't listen to him. next one lead good people down a wrong path and you'll come to a bad end do good and you'll be rewarded for it you do bad you're gonna receive bad you do good you'll receive good that makes sense the rich think they know it all but the poor can see right through them when good people are promoted everything is great but when the bad are in charge watch out you can't whitewash your sins and get by with it you find mercy by admitting and leaving them a tender-hearted person lives a blessed life a hard-hearted person lives a hard life. Lions roar and bears charge, and the wicked lord it over the poor. Among the leaders who lack insight, abuse abounds. But for one who hates corruption, the future is bright. 
A murderer haunts. A murderer haunted by guilt is doomed. There's no help. There's no helping him. Walk straight. Live well and be saved. A devious life is a doomed life. The next title is Doing Great Harm in Seemingly Harmless Ways. So doing great harm in seemingly harmless ways. Work your garden. You'll end up with plenty of food. Play and party. You'll end up with an empty plate. Committed and persistent work pay off. Get rich quick schemes are ripoffs. Playing favorites is always a bad thing. You can do great harm in seemingly harmless ways. A miser in a hurry to get rich doesn't know that he, he'll end up broke. In the end, serious reprimand is appreciated far more than boot licking flattery. We're almost done. Well, you can still hear me. Anyone who robs father and mother and says, so what's wrong with that is worse than a pirate. Don't take advantage of your family, especially those that have raised you and taken care of you is essentially what that's saying. A grasping, a grasping person stirs up trouble, but trust in God brings a sense of well-being. If you think you know it all, you're a fool for sure. Real survivors learn wisdom from others. Be generous to the poor. You'll never go hungry. Shut your eyes to think, sorry, shut your eyes to their needs and run a gauntlet of curses. When corruption takes over, good people go underground. But, but, but when the crooks are thrown out, it's safe to come out. We're not supposed to be in the middle of corruption. We're supposed to stay away from it. But when it goes away, then it's, it's okay to be present and to come out and, you know, live life. So that is Proverbs chapter 28 in the message. We'll see you next time. Bye. God bless.